to my channel. It's Dar Jane Aileen. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how I straighten my hair and put in my clip-in extensions. So if you're interested in seeing that, go ahead and stay tuned. I'm just going to go ahead and do a quick life update for you guys. If you don't want to see my life update, then go ahead and just skip to the um, tutorial and we'll be good, you know? Where have I been? Hmm... Well, for, for one, I did get married, guys, so I am a newlywed. I've just been dealing with like little things here and there with our wedding because me and my husband got married on December 27th of last year in the court, and then we ended up deciding that we wanted to do a actual wedding reception and a mock ceremony for the rest of our family and friends. Um, in October so that's what we're kind of doing now we're just um preparing for that it's literally like the happiest I've been as in marrying my husband like he makes me so happy we work so well together and even though like they say the first year of marriage is pretty tough it we get through all of the tough times and we just have a really good time I'm so happy I made the the I'm so happy we made the decision to go ahead and get married because it was something that we both wanted to do and it just made sense for us to be married. I'm dating, I'm looking, I'm dating to marry. I'm not dating just to have fun. Like that's never been my thing. If that's your thing, that's perfectly fine. But I never wanted to do that. I've always wanted to be married. So I kind of told my husband, hey, you gonna marry me or what? Because it's, it's about time. So <laughs> now we're married and um, life has just been kind of great. I've been working full time, um, so I haven't really had much time for YouTube, which I apologize for, but I'm going to try and get some things together where I can come on camera a little bit more and let you guys kind of see an inside of my life. Yeah, so that's kind of where I've been, what I've been up to, just getting used to um, married life. I have to change my name, my last name on basically everything, so that was kind of... Um, yeah. Also, I'm trying to plan our wedding and that's already stressful in itself, which I will do a story time on all of this nonsense that's been going on with that. And overall, everything's been coming together with our wedding. It's just little stressful things here and there that are kind of bugging us. But the good thing is we do have a lot of family support um financially mentally and physically so i'm really happy about that because if not then i don't know if i'd want to do the wedding because it's just too much to take on so i'm gonna be showing you guys how i straighten my hair right now it's just in this little top knot type of thing i just dyed it jet black yesterday and i just blow dried it with um it's a 10 and a little bit of this loma serum it's not really a serum like it doesn't feel greasy or oily in your hands but it's in like serum form if that sounds better you know I just put a little bit of this and this is my heat protectant that I'm gonna be using for today's style um I just made these clip-ins I think this is about 22 inches or 24 something like that and um they look really simple I make my clip-ins really thick because I have really thick hair so doing like a double weft will not cut it. I need to like quadruple to like put it around five times almost. This is kind of what they look like. They're really ratchet in the inside, but I mean, hey, like nobody's gonna see this part. Um, so all I do really is just, if you know how to do a simple sew, if you know how to do sewing like, like a simple stitch, you can know how to do clip-ins. So all I did was um, just, took my and you want to use like weaving thread don't use regular thread or it's gonna fall apart and the weaving thread is more thicker I think I get the nylon kind I'm not too sure I'll put in a link below but um I just double my my thread in my needle and you want to use a hook needle because it works a little bit better then you want to sew them as tight as possible so they lay flat and they're not super thick because like I said these are already um super wefted onto here so yeah that's how I make my clip-ins I just have three clips um I don't put any on the sides because I just don't need them and um I may, may mainly just put these in the back but I just have three clips that I made 
and we're gonna be putting those in today and I'm also gonna be cutting them into a style because I feel like they're just a little too long where they're gonna look unnatural so I'm gonna have to cut them down a little bit so I'll show you guys how to do that and how to do that nice and um, easy and simple okay you can cut your own hair easy okay so now I'm gonna be taking down my hair out of this little clipping oh my gosh I have so much hair sometimes like I just want to shave my head because this gets too hard to handle the flat iron that I'm using today is I'm not gonna say this right because everybody says it differently ba babyless babyless Bayless, you know this little flat iron right here i got this when i was in cosmetology school and it's my favorite flat iron like i'm always gonna have this flat iron like for life i'll probably get a new one because this one's gonna go out soon probably but i love this flat iron it's just the babyless um babyless pro and i'll put the link for this flat iron below but you can probably find it on amazon or wherever really so please don't judge me on what heat setting I have my flat iron at or what I'm doing this is my hair it's on my head it's not on yours so we're good okay I turn my flat iron on and I put it at 450 I do because I have thick ass hair and I need this stuff to get like bone straight so that's just what I do and that's how I do my hair so that's what I'm gonna do my flat iron's heating up I'm just gonna go ahead and put my Loma fortifying reparative tonic spray I mean serum into my hair and I'll put about three pumps you don't need too much but you need enough if that makes sense I just want to rub that in my hands and just put that all over focus it on your ends too don't forget about your ends gonna take my edges here and you just pull out sections like that and I'm just going to flat iron my edges straight and I only go over it with one pass you don't need to do two because it is your edges you don't want them to fall off but yeah Once my edges are nice and straightened out, that's when I want to start parting my hair. Like, in the nape area, I'm just going to part it. Your part doesn't have to be like super straight or nothing, but you know, you just want to part it. And the rest of this, I'm just going to put up with a clip or whatever. I like to take the more thinner side of the um, comb tubes and you just put it under and you take your flat iron get it nice at the root and then you'll just do it just like that my hair all straightened out this brush guys I got this from my local beauty supply is the best brush ever it actually has the steel bristles which I can't find anywhere I need steel bristles because like I said I have thick hair and sometimes my scalp itches like terribly terribly and I don't have nails at the moment so that really doesn't get the job done but this brush does so I usually have my husband help me um straighten it he'll hold it and i'll straighten it but since he's not here right now 
I do it a different way. And don't mind the mess, this is real life. So I just get a drawer, a dresser drawer or whatever, and I open it. I put my clip in in there. And that way I don't have to have nobody hold it. And then I can straighten it, curl it, do whatever I wanna do. So I'm just gonna be taking this Garnier Fructis um, Flat Iron Perfector Spray. I like this spray, I've been using it since I was like in high school. And it gets my, at least for my extensions, it gets them really nice and straight and shiny. So I'm just gonna spray that over. And it's also a heat protectant, which I like too. So I'm just gonna take my comb and my flat iron and we're gonna flat iron it out. And it does not come out of the drawer unless you're like pulling the crap out of it. But that's just kind of how I flat iron my extensions. Things are nice and straight now. And I'm gonna go ahead and put them in. I'm parting down at the nape area again. And for this part, you kind of want to get your part semi-straight in a way. So you don't get little hairs pulling on your scalp because that kind of hurts. And the rest of it, you're just gonna tie back. I'm just going to make sure that your clip wefts are open. And you're just gonna take it and stick the combs into your head and just clip them. And they should not fall out. They should be good to go. my brush um this is also a wig brush as well so it is good for things like this because it's not going to necessarily um you know take your clippings out but you don't want to go into your root if that makes any sense just go over the clip in so just like this you just want to hold your clip in by the base and just go over it to make sure that you didn't get any hairs folded in in between the sections and once you feel like everything's nice and smooth, like so, you just want to take the rest of your hair out and just smooth it out with everything else. All of my clippings are in. I'll just bring them to the front here. This is how they look. And you could kind of wear them like this if you really wanted to. They don't look bad, but I kind of like mine a little bit more um, even with my hair. So what you're gonna do is part your hair exactly down the middle. You're gonna take both parts, put them just like this, and twist once. Just twist once. You don't need to twist twice. And we're going to go ahead and just cut off a bit I'm cutting off about an inch and a half two inches so that way they can get they can be even you see how there's like a disconnect there just make sure you don't cut your hair off because I've done that before and it was not fun trying to grow back out you're just gonna take your scissors or your shears and just kind of feather it out in a way so these are my shears um when you're doing this you do not want to put them all the way down because you'll cut off all your hair and that's not gonna be cute so you're just gonna kind of slightly like with this thumb finger kind of move it back and forth you don't want to put them all the way down so with my thumb finger I'm just taking the hair and I'm just kind of sliding it down. So that way it's just taking off some extra bulk and kind of putting in some layers for me.
this is the final look the extensions look really natural really natural they don't look too um fake or too much because even though i do have thick hair um trying to get super thick thick extensions are would make my head look really big and my head's already like super big as it is but um these ones they work well you know i can't complain so i hope you guys enjoyed this video go ahead and give me a like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time Oh, 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 oh,